and nothing has changed. It's still one injured. Hello, everyone. It's Charlton, and i um, just uh, making an update video about the shooting in Florida at the high school in Ocala, Florida, 38 miles south of uh, Gainesville. It's, it's you know, uh, north central Florida. One person was injured, and the shooter is in custody. Both persons were in, uh, were, uh, were were students, and uh, the person that was shot was injured, was shot in the ankle. And but there's a little clip of video here that somebody posted on Twitter inside the school of you know officers with weapons majorly drawn and students freaking out. And this is just right outside, I believe, the class. Uh, the shooting took place right outside this classroom, and there's a witness that describes. What, uh, how the shooting went down? I'll read it to you in a second. It's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty detailed, and the and the video is pretty, pretty crazy too. So, uh, but nothing has changed. The school's in lockdown. They're evacuating students. They're fifty to forty to fifty buses evacuating twenty two hundred students. I had said like uh, fifteen buses before I got that wrong. It's a big high school. So, uh, and this is. Uh, I'll get to the video. I promise. <clears throat> uh, this is on the same day that there's a national walkout uh, protesting uh, gun violence because it's the anniversary of Columbine, and, uh, the, the school shooting in Columbine, Colorado in uh, 1996, I believe. All right, here's the, uh, the video, and then I'll, uh, I'll give you the description of, um, and I'm live streaming on Periscope right now, so let me make this bigger, crank up the volume, and... Uh, do this. All right, man. Here we go. Put your hands up. Keep your hands up. Just keep your hands up. Everybody else. 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 Yeah, I'd be freaking for sure. <clears throat> All right, so, um, and uh, there was a pretty detailed account of kind of how the shooting went down, at least to somebody that was in the school that talked to their parents. All right, so, um, one student shot a shot in the ankle at Florida High School, and the suspected shooter is in custody. Authorities said the Marion County Sheriff's Office reported that the shooting happened Friday morning at Forest High School, which uh, was put in lockdown. They're doing a secondary sweep right now, the FBI, just to make sure, to be absolute positive that uh, it's safe. The injured student, a male, was taken to a hospital, local hospital, and treated uh, for non-life-threatening injury. The police say the suspected shooter is also a student at the school. His age was not available, and no charges were immediately announced yet. And uh, the sheriff's office said no other schools in the county were under any threat. Video purporting to show, which is what I just showed you. And uh, the shooting happened as students around the country walked out of class to protest gun violence on the anniversary of the massacre of Col Colorado's Columbine High School. And uh, so Chris Oliver told the Ocala Star, Ocala Star Banner that his 16-year-old son, a Forest student, told him the shooting happened near his classroom. The boy told Oliver the shooter was standing in a hallway and fired at a closed classroom. The shooter then dropped an unspecified weapon, ran, and tried to hide, the boy told his father. Okay, so that's that's kind of the description that they have of it. It's... Pretty decent, actually. So one more time, Chris, Chris Oliver told the Ocala Star Banner that his 16-year-old son, a forest student, told him the shooting happened near his classroom. The boy told Oliver uh, the shooter was standing in, in a hallway and fired at a closed classroom. The shooter then dropped an unspecified weapon, ran, and tried to hide. The boy t told his father. All students were being taken by bus to the First Baptist Church of Ocala where parents can pick them up, and uh, that's it, man, that's the update. One more time for people to join just now, the, uh, the video that they have on it. Everybody.
I was just replaying that for people who just joined, and uh, that's the uh, that's the update. So it's still just one injured shooter in custody. Both of them students. The shooter got uh, the person that got injured got shot in the ankle. It sounds like ankle. You know, he just shot indiscriminately into a closed class classroom. Why he chose that classroom is is not known, but I would think that there's a specific reason. And um, you know, so supposedly according to one of the witnesses, he shot. Dropped the weapon, ran and hid. I guess the police, you know, must have found him. And he's in because he's in custody now. He's not been identified. I'm sure he won't be identified for so, some time because he's a student. He's a child. And uh, that's the story there. Thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Please, you know, make sure you stay subscribed. There's something so weird going on in my channel. I'll make a video about it. You know, I know I don't make the greatest videos in the world, but there's videos where I'm getting tons of views, tons, you know, 30,000 views, 20,000 views, and there's no subscribers coming with it, and it just doesn't make any sense. It's totally weird. I'll see you in the next video. Later.